Okay, so in my last tutorial, you might remember that I created the actual database and I inputted some data into it. And this tutorial now is going to show you how to access that data stored. Um, so to begin with, I've already started up my XAMPP control panel. I've got Apache server and MySQL running. So what I'm going to do, I'll just show you again the database itself. So I want to go to localhost, PHP my admin. Okay, so from here you can see JOS, this is my database that I created, and my videos, if I click browse, and there we go, I can see the data which I added in the last tutorial. So the next step is to actually create some script which will access this database. So I'll go to my root folder. Now I'll show you again where this is. It's stored on the memory stick which holds the XAMPP files. So it's here. htdocs, the root folder, XAMPP database, the folder I created. And the text I've actually created already. I'll show you what I did. Now I've called it videos.php. And you want to open that in Notepad. And this is what you need to input to access the database to stored on that table. So the username is root and there's no password. That's the XAMPP standard security settings. You can change those if you want. Host name is localhost because it's stored on the memory stick. And now the main bit you need to know about is here. Now the MySQL query. So this is the actual MySQL part which accesses the data. So you want to select name, URL, description from my videos. So if we go back to here you see name, URL, description and the table name is my videos. Now this is a part of code which will actually bring up the data and this part here is a part which displays the data. So it will display the name first followed by a description followed by the URL and there will be no text for the URL because I just want the video to be embedded. So save that as PHP um, videos.php I'll save that as and then head back to the browser open a new tab and you want to type in localhost slash xamp slash database slash videos okay and that will actually access the data for you you can see connected to MySQL and here is the video which has been embedded uh, it's the one I created in the early tutorials and there you have it so basically that's the way that's how you access the data stored in a database using a MySQL query now the other thing you can do is then add this to a website which is what I've also done I'll show you the website which I'm actually using. This is a website I've created. It's got the banner, etc. Um, it's got a home page, report page, tutorials. Now, because this is a tutorials, that code which I've um, inputted, the, the MySQL query, what I've done, I've added that here. Now, you can see it all here. There we go, it's the same code, and what it's done, it's added it to a web page. Now, this web page just saved us uh, tutorial.php, and you can access this again localhost database. Also, because it's in the website folder, as you'll see, you need website, and then you need tutorial. PHP and there you have it there is the database the MySQL query demonstrated in a working HTML website
um, the video is just loading it will play it's embedded and there we go that concludes the uh, tutorial for adding or accessing data from a database um, the same way the home this home information is also in the database as well I'll show you here there we go there's the home text there and there it is shown here so there we are